Welcome to Enterprise Radio, the signature show of the Enterprise Podcast Network, featuring some of the most prominent business professionals in the world today. And now your host, Eric Dye. And once again, this is Eric Dye, and welcome to Enterprise Radio, a part of EPN, the Enterprise Podcast Network. Today, we're visiting with Mr. Alexander M. Eineken, the founder of Eineken Research and Management AG, a research boutique established in 2009, focusing on now casting and risk management. He's the author of the new book, Applied Wisdom, 700 Witty Sisms to Save Your Assets. And Mr. Eineken, thanks for joining us here today on Enterprise Radio. Thank you very much for having me, Eric. And the pleasure is all ours. Looking forward to hearing from you today. So tell us about your title, Applied Wisdom. What is it and how does it relate to making financial decisions? Well, um, I've been doing research now for more than uh, 30 years. Um, and I have um, sort of like always used quotes, sort of like other people's wisdom in my, in my side text next to the content. And then the, the feedback over the years was was actually pretty good. Um, people like investors thought, um, that uh, that these nuggets of wisdom apply quite well to uh, the content, which which is uh, most often uh, of, of a financial nature. Um, so so that's how I came to um, to collecting the wisdom and then applying it to uh, risk management or or finance in general. That's how that's how I came up with the term uh, applied wisdom. Although there there are some other applied terms like uh, there's there's the term applied history. Uh, applied economics. Uh, these these terms are quite old, so I, I probably got it uh, from these terms. Just to, just you know, took the applied and and uh, added the wisdom to to come up with uh, applied wisdom. Well, I'd say that's quite creative on your part, and thanks for hitting the highlights on that title, applied wisdom, and some of the things that it relates to when it comes to financial decisions. Now, you've organized also applied wisdom around many time-tested principles, axioms, laws, and theories. Can you highlight a few that you touch on there? Well, like for, um, there's um, the iron law of capital, which essentially says that uh, capital goes where it's welcome, where it's well treated. I, found, I find that is a, a very important one. Uh, so, for example, the United States of America um, does, does quite well on, on, on that because um, the, the U.S. has been a magnet for, uh, for, uh, for capital for, you know, like more than 100 years, certainly 200 years. Um, and I'm I'm uh, I'm talking to you from Switzerland. I'm Swiss, um, and Swiss Switzerland is also uh, a magnet for for capital. Um, has been uh, for also like say 100, 150, 150 years. Um, and then there there's the opposite, you know, like Cuba or Venezuela. No one wants to go there, and um, you know that's uh, that's. Uh, has an impact on on the prosperity and and well-being of of the population. So that that the the iron law of capital um, would be would be one idea. A second one is uh, is um, the iron law of failure. Um, that's uh, that's sort of like an idea which states that in the end everything ends. Um, like the the universe started with a, a big bang and it will end at, at one day with a um, with a big crunch. Um, or great crunch, um, and uh, you know, stars they come and go, uh, species come and go, and that's the same for for countries or or um, ideas. People, you know, people get born and and uh, and, and they die. Um, so in the end, everything fails, so to speak. Um, but there's also failure um, where which which you survive, like mistakes you make as, a, as an investor, and the idea there is to learn from from those mistakes that is sort of like the the, the wisdom bit um that that you you sort of like improve by by failing so to speak now also from thomas aquinas to frank zappa applied wisdom also features more than 700 quotes from a diverse range of people how did you come to collect all these quotes well i i started to um quite, at a quite early age being just being fascinated by by quotations, I guess even in in school, I sort of like I, I just wrote them up, wrote them down, um, and then when I when I turned professional at the age of 21, I, I used them in my in my written uh, research, 
um, from from an from an early age, um, and then you know then after after decades you get you you get a collection, and then uh, what I did for this book is um, actually try and find. I spent a lot of time um, trying to find the origin of of these quotes, and what I found is that. Uh, while the internet is very helpful, I have been using some quotes um, wrongly, or or they they or attributed them wrongly because uh, there's there's uh, there's not only fake news, there's also fake quotes on on the internet. So I spent some time um, for when writing this book um, in the in the end notes, um, you know, detail adding some some color uh, on the origin of some of the quotes I have been using throughout my uh, career. Now, today we're joined by Alexander M. Eineken. He is the founder of Eineken Research and Management AG, a research boutique established in 2009, focusing on now casting and risk management. He's also the author of the new book, Applied Wisdom, 700 Witticisms to Save Your Assets. And he's joined us here today on Enterprise Radio, a part of EPN, the Enterprise Podcast Network. Now, in the book, you also explain what Marilyn Monroe and Mike Tyson have in common with Leonardo da Vinci and that both Muhammad Ali and George Soros applied Confucius wisdom as well. How does that help your readers make prudent decisions? Well, it's um, the the commonality is uh, you know to keep things uh, simple. And we know from from analyzing um, some banks and hedge funds which blew up um, that uh, you can you can make things too complicated. And if you make things too complicated and you do not understand it yourself anymore that's that's bad from a from a risk management uh, standpoint and the practical relevance uh, for for sort of like finding a common denominator between Marilyn Monroe Mike Tyson and Confucius is that if if uh, they found something which works for them uh, given that they're obviously very have very different uh, tasks and, and, and careers and lived in lived in different times, then chances are it's it's sort of like more applicable. Which means um, the wisdom, let's say in this case yeah, of keeping it simple, um, is is applicable to to you uh, as a as an investor. Yeah, when you simplify things, especially in the financial world, you're certainly doing yourself a favor. Good feedback right there. Now, another question for you. You examine expert failure and warn against the dangers of forecasting, even arguing that flipping a coin is often a better option. And you also detail that now casting approach. Explain what now casting approach is. Yeah, first on, on, the, on the coin flipping. The coin flipping uh, remark is, is based on the observation that quite often um, you have um, 100% of economists from a from a survey getting the direction of interest rates wrong. You know, it's not just like 70% getting it wrong, but there have been years uh, where, let's say, 50 or or 70% all predicted rising interest rates uh, for the next for the coming year, um, and then getting it wrong. Um, so there's a lot of uh, empirical evidence that in in certain circumstances where um, a system is chaotic, chaotic meaning that a small disturbance, like a, a small change of the system can have a, a very big impact. And in such systems, um, where, which, which are chaotic, it can be more intelligent uh, to flip a coin for, uh, for decision making. If the empirical evidence is, let's say, suggesting that 70% of the, of the forecasters get it wrong. So the now, now casting approach, which is the answer to your question, um, is a response to that. Um, and what the now casting um, approach does in chaotic systems, like for example financial markets, it looks at the now. Um, what that means is that, for example, in um, in in, uh, in in relative to to, to GDP. Uh, you have uh, GDP uh, forecasts, and you have um, the, the change of these forecasts, and the the, the changes of these forecasts um, are objective, right? The forecasts themselves might not be, so the economists doing the forecast uh, might get it wrong. But looking at the, the change of change or the, the change of these forecasts is something objective, um, and the now casting approach uh, suggests, or, or sort of like. Um, um, 
exercise on, on the idea that you look on things which are objective rather than subject. Mr. Einiken, really do appreciate your visit with us here today, coming to us from Switzerland, matter of fact, and uh, certainly appreciate all the information and insight shared as well. I'm sure listeners want to know how they could connect with you as well as to get more information on Applied Wisdom or even pick up the book Applied Wisdom. Where's the best place online to get further information? Well, the, 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 the book should be available um, in, in, uh, in bookshops, like online, um, and uh, to con- to, my, my professional website um, is uh, inicon-rm.com, um, and I've also got uh, like a private website, uh, which is just my full name, alexanderinicon.com. Um, yeah, and that's, that's, I think, the, those, those two options are best. And of course, listeners, if you're out mobile, we'll definitely leave the link within the show notes of this broadcast to make things easier for you. Uh, Mr. Einiken, all the best. Thanks so much for joining us here today on Enterprise Radio. Thank you very much for the opportunity. You have a good day. I appreciate that. And you too have a great day yourself. We've been speaking with Mr. Alexander M. Einiken. He's the founder of Einiken Research and Management AG, as well as the author of the new book, Applied Wisdom 700 Witticisms to Save Your Assets. And for more details, visit Einiken-RM.com. And this is Eric Dye, and you've been listening to Enterprise Radio, a part of EPN, the Enterprise Podcast Network. Tune in to our live location as we are streaming live 24-7 around the world at epodcastnetwork.com forward slash live. You can also find our live stream on iTunes Radio and TuneIn Radio as well as the TuneIn Radio app for your listening convenience. And as always, we thank you for your support and for tuning in. Thanks for listening to Enterprise Radio. To subscribe to more of our programming, visit epodcastnetwork.com. This is the ePodcast Network.